Serb enemies like to accuse Serbs of lying about their history. The newest accusation is that Serbs are hiding the fact that Ottoman Sultan Mehmed II's mother was Serb. In turn, Serbs were surprised by this claim. History books in Serbia always mention that Serbian princess Mara Branković was adoptive mother of Sultan Mehmed II. What is the truth? Let us start with what Turkish historians say about Mehmed II's birth mother. Her name was Huma Hatun, daughter of Abdullah. Turkish historians think that she was enslaved European woman, but this isn't confirmed. Women in Ottoman history weren't visible. We know very little about Sultan's mothers, wives and daughters. To be honest, we also know very little about females in the Balkan history. We are talking about patriarchal societies that focused on men. For example, one of the most important Serb rulers, Stefan Nemanja, had three daughters and they are nameless. History records do not mention their names. Ottoman history sources state that Huma Hatun died young. Serbian Princess Mara Branković informally adopted Mehmed II. Princess Mara had huge role in Mehmed II's life. Serbs are proud of Mara for remaining Christian even after her marriage to Sultan Murad II, father of Mehmed II. Mara was the second Serbian princess to marry Ottoman Sultan. The first was Olivera Lazarevic, who married Sultan Bayazid, ruled 1389-1402. Some foreign conspiracy theorists like to question how neither Olivera nor Mara had children. However, historical sources are clear about Olivera and Mara being childless. What made conspiracy theorists think that Huma Hatun was Serb? The name of Huma Hatun's father was Abdullah. The name Abdullah means servant of God and was usually given to converts to Islam. This doesn't mean that he was Serb. He could have been ethnic Bulgarian, Greek, Croat. Plus, there was no law against giving the name Abdullah to the child. Huma Hatun's father could have been ethnic Turk. Another supposed evidence is that Sultan Mehmed II was fluent in Serbian. As you might have noticed, I am fluent in English and have zero English blood. Being fluent in some language is not proof of ethnic origin. It is likely that Mehmed II learned Serbian thanks to his adoptive mother, Mara. Why are enemies so keen to prove Mehmed II had Serbian mother? This is part of bigger conspiracy theory. They want to prove that Serbs and Turks were best friends. They also falsely say how Serbs had special privileges in Ottoman Empire. Enemies ignore historical facts they don't like. Let's see the facts that they hate. Fact 1. Mehmed II annexed Serbia in 1459. Instead of Serbia, he renamed the region Sanjak of Smederevo. Smederevo was the last Serbian medieval capital. Sanjak was administrative region in Ottoman Empire. To be blunt, Mehmed II erased Serbia from the map. Fact 2. Serbian Patriarch Arseni II died in 1463. Mehmed II did not allow Serbs to elect next Patriarch. The Serbian church remained headless until 1526. Fact 3. Serbs had to pay all the taxes, including blood tax, Turkish devshirme. Serbian boys were taken from their families and converted to Islam against their will. We don't know how many were taken. Far-right Serbs like to exaggerate the numbers and even say that all modern Turks have Serbian blood due to devshirme. Fact 4. Serbs organized rebellions against Ottoman Empire. Serbs sided with Habsburg Empire whenever they attacked Ottoman Empire. In retaliation, Serbs were sold as slaves on Ottoman slave markets. This was done well into 19th century.
In 1813, Serbian women and children from Belgrade were sold into slavery. Only in one day, 1,800 Serb women and children were sold. Fact 5. Ottomans burned the remains of San Sava in 1594. San Sava founded Serbian Orthodox Church in 1219. San Sava is for Serbs what St. Patrick is for Irish. Ottomans showed no friendship when they burned San Sava's remains. What do I think about Mehmed II's birth mother? Personally, I don't think she was Serbian. Serbs like to brag about important people who had Serb blood. Example, Russian Emperor Ivan the Terrible had Serb grandmother Anna Jakšić. Serbs also claim several Grand Viziers, Ottoman Prime Ministers, as Serbs. Grand Viziers were children taken through the Shirme, blood tax. The problem with Ottoman Empire is that they only cared about the religion. The Ottoman state didn't care about ethnicity. All Muslims in Ottoman Empire had the same status no matter what their origin was. It is impossible to search ethnic background of Grand Viziers or women in Sultan's harem. I think that Serb historical sources would mention if Mara adopted child of another Serb woman. Serb historians are aware of the importance of Mehmed II. He is considered one of the most important Ottoman sultans, nicknamed the Conqueror. Turks made several movies and TV shows about his life. Mehmed II took Constantinople in 1453, which marked the end of Byzantine Empire. Serb enemies want to construct a story how Serbs were responsible for the end of Byzantine Empire. Supposed half-Serb Mehmed II took Constantinople with the help of Serbian despotate. Serbian despotate was the vassal state of Ottoman Empire. Serbian prince Juraj Branković, Mara's father, sent 1500 knights to Mehmed II. It is estimated that Mehmed II had 130,000 soldiers, which means that Serb knights were just a drop in the ocean. Mehmed II would have taken Constantinople even without Serbs. There is also another dimension in the story. The last Byzantine emperor, Constantine XI, had Serbian mother Jelena Dragas. This would mean that half Serb Mehmed II fought half Serb Constantine XI. And who knows, they might have been related through their mothers. It does sound like an intriguing story. Pity it's not true.